Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Helix tutorial for you and this is how to dial in kind of a John Mayer style tone. I'm kind of basing this off of a little bit of continuum, a little bit of sob rock. I just think the, the tones are kind of in the same ballpark-ish uh, compared to some of his other albums. So I'm trying to mesh them together to create kind of an all-purpose type of John Mayer preset. Um, I'll be doing this quite a bit with some like dual amp presets uh, that are in the John Mayer realm using different amps as well. So be on the lookout for those. Um, and as always, if you, uh, well, if you've checked out my fractal videos, I always mention that during these tutorials, it helps me and the channel to grow if you watch the video and you kind of get a free preset. But if you want to support the channel in another way and don't want to watch the video, uh, there's an email address in the description box below to be able to purchase this preset. Uh, it's a good one. I'm really enjoying it. So today I'm using this uh, PRS Silver Sky SE. Um, it is different than what I used in the intro clip. Um, I used my Michael SX Custom with Lawler Blondes, but I realize that not a lot of people have really, really low output pickups. So I'm kind of going middle ground with this SE uh, Silver Sky. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into HX Edit right now and kind of go through the preset. All right, so here it is. Let me make sure the mic is good. Here's the preset. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, so I call it Mayor Mania. No idea why it just came to me one day. But uh, kind of what we're going for is like a, a two rock-ish dumble type of thing. Now two rocks have uh, this very uh, sustainy type of clean tone and that's what we're going for and then uh, kind of going for some more of John's modern uh, effects that he uses like a clon and also the Qtron which uh, he didn't really use in the continuum era that was the Roger adrenaline pedal to create that effect so let's go ahead and do this we're going to turn off let's go to snapshot number one uh, let's go ahead and turn off all the reverbs. Make sure the delay is off. Okay. So just a, a quick um, quick clip of what it kind of sounds like dry. Okay, so 
it's uh, boomy, really bass heavy. So you might want to dial some of that out. So let's show you what the, the amp is. So I'm using the Litigator. And I, yeah, I know that they just came out the, with the Grammatico and I'm going to try and dial something in there, but really like this one. All right, kept the drive really low, bass at about 4.6. Uh, mids kind of middle ground 4.8 treble down really low because it's a it's kind of a bright amp so we want to darken it up um, as per like kind of what a two rock is um, turned off the presence channel all the way up master you can kind of mess with that a little bit um, sag kept it down and then I think I turned off the ripple so I wasn't getting any of that noise um, and I liked it when the bias was up just a little bit. So it's at 5.7. I just kind of liked it there. Um, we have a compressor. This is the deluxe comp. Uh, basically it's set to factory settings. So it's just pretty transparent, but I'll dial the mix back to under 50%. Um, you can mess with that um, as per your guitar. The cabs. So I'm using the new ones, which are pretty cool. So we're going to dual cab. This is the one by 12 Cali extended. And that's an old one uh, with a 160 ribbon cap edge, uh, one inch away. Did a low cut at 106, uh, just to make sure it's not like overly boomy. 7.7 um, .7 kilohertz high cut level, bumped it up just a little bit. And that's about it there. Let's go to this new one. This is the open cast, the brand new one uh, with, it has an EV. Both of them have EVs uh, at what they kind of modeled them after. So I went with a, this is a seven dynamic. So like a SM seven, like what John has been using quite a bit during sob rock right on the cap edge, two inches away. A uh, little less uh, in terms of low cut, you can dial it to taste though. Did an 8K uh, high cut, same thing, give it about 3 dB bump right there. Now let's move on to these EQ blocks. So this uh, is a low high shelf type of thing. So what I wanted to do is give it a little bit of bump because the, the T-Rock stuff is, can get really bass heavy, kind of like what the like the traditional clean or even the John Mayer signature is known for. Um, but with this guitar, I backed it off to plus four uh, dB at about 150 kilohertz, a little bit of highs at 3K, and then uh, gave it overall just a little bit of a level bump at 0.4. And uh, right here, something else, giving it some low gain uh, bump right here. Just make sure you uh, copy these. Uh, this one, it's more to give you that bassy type of thing. So let's go ahead, uh, just kind of play with it a little bit. So here's with it on. And off. So you can really hear the prominent like bass in uh, just with this, but back it off to whatever you like. I have it at just under 10, but if you even back it off to six or seven, you're going to get something good. And then let's go to this last one, uh, this last reverb block first. Um, I really like to have a little bit of ambience. Now with the new cabs, uh, they don't have early reflections, which I really like, uh, but I wanted to use the new cab. So added this uh, at the very end. It's a dynamic ambience set to stereo, about one millisecond uh, pre-delay. I think kept everything pretty much the same as the factory um, kind of preset, not preset, the factory effect and how it comes to you. So. So what I was trying to do is mimic like uh, in my fractal, there's a 
a room reflection type of thing, but I also like to use room mic IRs, so that's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, now let's bring in the dynamic call stereo reverb, 2.2 second decay, about a 50 second pre-delay. Um, I think I just dialed in the mix about 33% and that was it. It sounded really good, kind of going for my South Church reverb in the fractal. So. So some of you might think that's too much, but uh, me recording, like I want it to actually pop in the mix a little bit. So you can mess with it, mess with the, the mix mostly, but here's what it is with a little slow dancing. And I know I play this a lot for the videos, but it's kind of how I um, dial in my presets. So you can even bring it back just a little bit, let's see, under 30. And it feels good there too. Um, you can even dial the, the decay back a little bit. So let's go into the drives. So this one brings up this Minotaur, so like the Klon. So try and get this tone. <laughs> So something very subtle, um, not really in your face, uh, but those are the settings right here. 3.7, 6, 5.8, pretty typical-ish uh, Mayer clone uh, settings right there. Let's go with Snapshot 3. That's just uh, bringing in this uh, Scream 808. Again, kind of uh, similar to his, uh, his settings on like his PS10. So let's, uh, let's grab a pick and So it does that thing, it has that peaky mid uh, with a little bit of bass roll off, um, but really like it. Um, let's go to Snapshot 4, which is kind of the lead thing. Uh, we have the Minotaur and the TS together. And we bring in this delay right here, stereo. And then just copy the settings right here, set to quarter note. Kind of going for that belief type of thing uh, with the trails very uh, tucked back uh, in the mix as well. Let's go to snapshot five. So here is my kind of Qtron type of thing. So here are the settings for that. And I'm staying on the neck pickup. <laughs> So it does that thing really well. And then for snapshot six, uh, we bring in, which one was it? Bring in the Minotaur for kind of like a lead type of Qtron thing. And that was a middle pickup on this guy. And then let's go to seven. So we're bringing in this uh, chorus block, 70s chorus, uh, set very subtle, 35% uh, mix. Give it a little bit of level bump, but that's a trick in the fractal, because or else it'll disappear. And then chorus rate of 2.9. So a little bit of shot in the dark. Then 
we keep that and then go to snapshot eight, which brings in the delay and the drives for kind of a last train home type of thing. So it does that thing. I um, hope you like the preset, follow the tutorial, try your best to uh, go through all the different parameters. Oh, one last thing, sorry about that. Let's go to the output. So one thing I did for the lead scene, so that's uh, snapshot four, snapshot eight, is give it a little bit of bump here in the level. So if I go to like scene seven, you can see it goes back to zero dB. Then it jumps up to 1.9. Same thing with uh, the snapshot four, but I needed to give it a little bit of a little bit more lift at 2.1. So, but there it is. That's my John Mayer Helix preset. Be on the lookout for more of them to come. Take care, and we'll see you next time.